Ladies and gentlemen, this video is officially part of the Thor News April fundraiser. We've only got $778 left to raise. And if you'd like to do it, you know how to do it. Um, you can contribute through here, 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 or there. All right, great. Let's get to the fantastic information. I used to think comments were boring. All right, that's not a good way to phrase it. They just used to disappoint. But then Comet Neowise came within 6.9 astronomical units of the earth closest approach to earth on july 23rd 2020 and then they used to say comets are bad omens and you can judge for yourself how life was after that time anywho this comet turned out to be more interesting the most interesting of all the comets that have been around in my lifetime and so hey guess what we got more comets to watch am i on two particulars number one being comet ztf it's like WTF, but with a Z. Zoinks. C2021. Energetic 3. And this one will come about in the end of May. Um, It's bare hel helion. It is 1.8 AU. Its closest approach to Earth will be 1.2 AU. And this one will be closest approach at the end of May. It is a strictly southern comet racing from the sun south celestial polar region into Vela from late May through mid-July. But the real one I think is exciting is Comet Panstars C-2021-03. Oh, All righty then. All righty then. It will be at its closest approach to Earth May 8th and It'll be at 0.6 AU, which it will be closer than the um, 0.69 AU. I don't know if you do math, but for closest approach, it's like a regular score, meaning 0.6 would be closer to us, Earth. But magnitude, the lower numbers are better. Man, I'm not explaining anything well tonight. Okay, but I'm saying this was going to be a close approach to Earth in the middle of May two days before Jupiter goes into Aries. And so it is definitely worth watching, in my opinion. Details. Pinning a brightness on this icy spitball is tricky because cats are like dirty cat snowball dragon ice cream cones that fly around the sun like a skating rink and never need refueling. Asterisk? I know, comets are weird, bro. Anyway, it's tricky because it's a recent arrival from the OART cloud. That mythical deep space around our solar system and i mean but panstar c2103 has the potential to become a binocular comet when it passes our planet just 17 days after perihelion if dust production is strong it could reach a six magnitude remember it only takes 4.5 to see with the naked eye so at the start of may while hopscotching across perseus and Camelio Pardalis. Just one of my favorite things to say. Let me say it for you again. Camelio Pardalis. All right. That place pops out a lot of comets, it seems. Lingering twilight in a low altitude will present challenges at first, but pan stars will soon transition to darker skies. It will become circumpolar for latitudes north of 45 degrees on May 8th. So, you know. We definitely got more interesting things that will be happening in 2022. Here we are over at NASA's um, small orbital browser. And you can see this, like here's where it's coming from and here's where it's going to. This is ETF, this is ZTF. And so ZTF will be passing, woo. between Earth and Mars, but pan stars will be passing between um, Earth and Venus. Here, watch. Oh, no, what hit button hit what? All right, now I'm hitting the button. Zweep. That's fast. 
So yeah, it's literally going to get down to 0.6 AU, so it's going to be closer to Earth than Neowise was. How big, how bright will it be? We do not know, but sometimes comets can surprise you. No, it's going into almost, yeah, it's going through Mercury's orbit. That's very interesting. Look, it crosses here through Earth's orbit, and then over here through Mercury's orbit. That is fascinating. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is April, May. This is like a month away. So, we'll keep our eyes on it. And then I used to be super fascinated with Comet Panstars K2, C 2017 K2. I made multiple videos about it. Um, it's pair Helion will be at December 19, 2022. That's my birthday. But its closest approach to Earth will be on July 14th, 2022. And, you know, they first talked about, they spotted this thing way far out. But apparently there hasn't been a lot of really cool, fascinating, amazing information from it. And it's only expected to be like a, at best a magnitude eight. But who knows? Comets can get active, get surprising. So we we shall see. But this is your romantic comedy update for April 7th. So stay cool. Oh, yeah. And as your planetary defense commander, I do a fundraiser every single month to keep the warnings up and running. If you'd like to contribute, you can send me something in the mail. Or you can make a contribution through PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron. Because y'all are so incredibly awesome and so great to me. I only have $778 left to raise for April. And it's the seventh day of the fundraiser. Y'all are so great to me. Thank you for that. So please let me say thank you to Astro Fight Club. And that includes Darlene, the Texas Angel, Robert, Karen, Justin, Patricia, Alexis, Lauren, Barbara, Glenda, Arnica, Light Soul, Dan, Marlita, Brian, and Max, Miguel, Susan, Teresa, and thousands of people out there. Y'all are great. Stay cool. Talk to you soon. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. Stay cool. Happy 4th of July.